Hello, in this video we're going to look at how a cost of living adjustment or CPI adjustment overcompensates for inflation. We're going to be showing this through a utility maximization example. Here's our consumer's utility function. It's a function of units of good X and good Y. The demand for good X and good Y, given this utility function, I'm not going to derive it, but I'll just give you the demands. If you want to see how these demands are derived, just leave a comment. So the demand for good X is going to be the consumer's income divided by 2 times the price of good X, given this utility function. And the demand for good Y is going to be the consumer's income divided by 2 times the price of good Y. And let's say the consumer's budget constraint is given by the following. The consumer has $16 of income, the price of good X is 1, and the price of good Y is 1. So those coefficients on X and Y just represent the respective prices. So price of good X is 1, price of good Y is 1. Given that information, let's evaluate the demand for good X and good Y. So the income 16 divided by 2 times the price of good X. The consumer will buy 8 units of good X. And the consumer will also buy 8 units of good Y. Utility at this consumption choice will be 8, just plugging in 8 and 8 into the utility function. And now let's say year two rolls around and the price of good X now is $2 and the price of good Y is now $4. Let's calculate the utility maximizing consumption bundle. So the consumer's income divided by two times the price and the price now is $2. So the consumer will buy four units of good X and the consumer here will now buy two units of good Y. Utility at the higher price level is now lower, 2.828. Notice here that the consumer reduced consumption of good X by 50%. Consumption of good X went from 8 to 4, and the consumption of good Y fell by even more. It fell from 8 to 2, and the rationale for that is that the price of good Y uh, became relatively more expensive. The price of good X, yes, doubled, but the cr price of good Y increased by fourfold. Let's calculate the cost of living increase by using the consumer price index. So in year one, the price is one and one for each good, and we saw the consumer bought eight units of good X and eight units of good Y. And in year two, the price of good X is $2, and the price of good Y is $4. So the CPI in year one, basically calculating the current cost of this basket here, uh, this fixed basket of eight and eight. So 1 times 8 plus 1 times 8, and then the base year cost of the basket, which is our year 1 value. So 1 times 8 plus 1 times 8. Multiply that by 100, the CPI in the base year is 100. All right, in year 2, we're going to look at the current cost of that fixed basket in the numerator. So it's 2 times 8 plus 4 times 8, and that's all going to be divided by the base year cost of the fixed basket. So in this case, we get an answer of 300. 48 divided by 16 times 100, so that's 300. And so notice that we take the CPI in year 2 divided by the CPI in year 1, we get a value of 3. In other words, the price increased by 3 times, or a 200% increase. So if we adjust the consumer's income by the cost of living increase based on the CPI, the consumer would be now... Uh, have $48 of income, 3 times 16 or 48. So let's maximize utility with this new budget constraint. So doing that over here, taking the demand for good X, plugging in 48 for M, and dividing by 2 times the higher price of good X, we get 12. Doing a similar thing for good Y, the consumer will buy 6 units of good Y. Utility at this level is 8.485. So note here that the consumer's utility is higher with the cost of living adjustment than the utility before the price increase. So utility with the COLA cost of living uh, adjustment is 8.485. Utility before the price increase we saw was 8. So the CPI does not reflect that consumer substitute away from the good that becomes relatively more expensive. In this case, good Y became relatively more expensive, so the consumer purchased relatively more units of good X after the price increase. 
Therefore, a conclusion, the CPI adjustment, the cost of living adjustment overcompensates for inflation. Okay, hope you found this interesting.